All right, guys, I know the launch of the new GPUs has been frustrating with supply and with the MSRPs being apparently ignored, at least for now, while supply is an issue. Uh, but we still have the 6900 XT coming out soon, We're looking at December 8th. And let's talk a bit about that. Some new info we have regarding some clock speed possibilities, at least in the BIOS, as well as what sort of performance should we expect? What kind of supply should we expect? And just my general thoughts on, should you buy this card at launch? Okay, so what new information do I have today? So the newest information I have is talking about a BIOS um, that Patrick Shore, who has tweeted a lot of accurate tweets uh, <laughs> about leaking information on these uh, GPUs. And what we're seeing here is that the max possible graphics clock allowed here is 3000 megahertz, or in other words, three gigahertz. And why is that a big deal? Well, that is higher than 6800 XT. Uh, we've seen headlines like this recently regarding the 6800 XT, where overclock, uh, like competitive overclockers, this is not something you're gonna get on your air cooling and actually play games at, right? But competitive overclockers running LN2 have been able to break some world records uh, and get the card up to 2.8 gigahertz. But the thing is, they had to stop there because of the BIOS limits not because they don't think they could have pushed the card even harder. Well, that's where this tweet is interesting in the sense that uh, the BIOS limit is at least gonna be 200 megahertz higher on the 6900 XT, so there could be more world records in store for us on overclocking potential here. So that's the big new news type of info I have for you today regarding the 6900 XT. But let's also talk about what can we expect on December 8th. Well, one thing is that's the reference card launch, and we do have some good news, which is the idea that, well, uh, there will be some stock on December 8th. It's probably gonna be incredibly hard to actually get one. But if you look at my video yesterday where we talked about the supply issues on the 6800 series cards, the reference launch did have better supply than the AIB launch. And the reference launch was at MSRP. So the good news is if you are able to get in there mashing F5 and get yourself a 6900 XT at launch, you'll actually be getting it for MSRP, which is $999. And the really good news there, if you're actually looking at, is that a good value right now? Well, is it a good value right now? I'd actually argue yes. If you have to buy a GPU right now, with the prices on 3080s and 6800 XTs and things like that really inflated, um, both just on the AIB partner models that are available if you can even find one, but also if you actually have to buy a card right now, you're paying scalper prices. So if you could get one at launch at MSRP, I think in the current market, at least for the next couple of months, it's gonna actually be a good deal at $999. Now I would argue that if you don't need a card in the next couple of months, or you can't responsibly afford spending $1,000 on a graphics card right now, don't do it, don't jump in on it. But is it a good deal right now for $999? I'd argue, again, in the current market, yes. So if you can get one, maybe go ahead and do it. Now, what sort of performance should we expect out of this thing? Well, uh, one thing to keep in mind with these cards is the specs, right? And by the way, any anything I'm showing you in this video, as usual, as my uh, subscribers already know, I link everything in the description. And thank you everybody who has subscribed to my videos, uh, subscribed to my channel, liked my videos, watched my videos. It's been really fun starting out this YouTube thing, still going on less than two months now doing this. And I've been having a whole ton of fun doing this as a hobby. And thank you guys for all the support. If you're interested in tech stuff, especially PC related tech content, but not exclusively exclusively uh, think about subscribing to the channel. All right, anyway, so what kind of ex uh, performance should we expect here? Well, the 6900 XT has 80 compute units, whereas the 6800 XT had 72. Uh, so that would give it about 10% more performance if you're just ju judging it off of the compute units. But we also know these are binned to boost really well. And we've seen that their maximum limit, as I just reported, has been raised. So you might even get more than that 10% you might expect. And one other thing that a lot of people are talking about is ray tracing performance. And um, each compute unit in this architecture for these GPUs is equipped with a ray accelerator. 
So this has 80 compute units. It also has 80 ray accelerators, whereas the 6800 XT had 72 compute units, which gave it 72 ray accelerators. So while I wouldn't expect this to have mind-blowing ray tracing performance, it should scale up in the same way that a 6800 XT had better ray tracing performance than the 6800, this should also have better ray tracing performance than the 6800 XT. So with AMD's main drawback in this particular generation of GPUs, uh, when you compare them to NVIDIA, is the ray tracing performance. Um, this one will at least do better than the 6800 XT if you can get your hands on one. So that is something to think about. So should you buy one of these at launch? Well, again, if it's uh, with the reference card launch, you might actually be able to get your hands on an MSRP card at $999. And again, in the current market, I think that's a decent deal. And my kids are wanting my attention right now. I thought they were eating a snack and happy. So I'm going to end this video right here. Let me know uh, if you're planning on trying to get one in the comment section. I got to go. My daughter needs me. I uh, hope you guys have an excellent day.